Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chua. So today we're going to be doing the February BoxyCharm unboxing. I know I've been just doing unboxing videos on my channel and review videos. I will have a tutorial coming up this weekend, I promise. I'm going to just focus on that this weekend and all the rest of the week because, yeah, I, I need to make some more videos. <laughs> Anyways, um, I put some of makeup on. I'm going to test out the rest of the stuff on my face. So yeah, BoxyCharm every month um, is $21 a month for five full-size products. So you get all five products in here. You get all of it there. This is all the stuff. And then you get a card with all the stuff that tells you and then the regular retail prices and all that stuff. Anyways, if you want to see what's in this box and me playing with it just keep on watching <laughs> oh my nose itches uh, are we good are we good i think we're good <laughs> anyways ignore what just happened we're gonna go open up the box not drop shit <laughs> open up the box and go check out the first thing this wig, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't feel like fixing my hair today, so we put on wigs today. Anyways, the first thing is the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Palette. It is retail price $39. It says, with six stunning holographic shades, this highlighting palette is, a, is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanting. Okay, just by reading this, they got some errors. It says holographic. But then, but then it says iridescent shade. Holographic and iridescent ain't the same thing. So I don't think you should be calling your palette holographic. It should be like the iridescent palette or something cheesy like that. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be calling I me mean, the packaging is holographic. Is, is, is that why they call it holographic? It's because the the packaging is all <laughs> I mean, let's, let's, let's look at the shades. Okay. I mean, I really do like the packaging. It's really pretty. I like holographic stuff. But, why would you call it the holographic, yeah, holographic highlighter palette if the things are not holographic and you said the shades are iridescent? It doesn't make sense. Anyways, you come <laughs> comes with these six pretty shades. And we're gonna swatch it and I'm gonna see which one I wanna put on my cheeks and highlight my face. So we're gonna try it with the top row. So I'm just gonna apply them all on my arm first. Cause it just seems to be easier than doing one by one and shorter video. Okay, restart on the swatches. These are really primitive. So far, I really like the peachy color right here. So it's the third one right here on the top row. I really like this color, so I might be leaning towards either the pink color or the peachy color to apply on my face. So we're gonna do the second row. So let me go point my fingers on my pants. Anyways, got wig hair on me. So we're gonna try this light lime green color next. So I'm just gonna apply all these on my arm and show you all the swatches again and then I'm doing the light blue next and then the yellow is it called holographic because it has the color of the rainbow in here I just realized that is that why it's called that because they have the color all, all color of the rainbow in here anyways here is the last three swatches are right here. They are super pigmented. I really do like this palette. Besides it throwing it off with the holographic name. Anyways. But yeah. Out of the bottom row, I really like the blue color and then the green color. Those are so pretty. Comment down below and let me know what color you like out of this palette too. So we're going to go use my... Morphe M510 brush and then we're just gonna do that peachy color so we're gonna see if it's pigmented with the brush because swatches are not the same so I'm gonna get this big ass mirror I have and just that's pretty that's so 
pretty. And then I'm actually going to try off a few colors, so the next cheek is going to be this because my ear is going to be aggravated. Put my hair behind my ear. And then we're going to do that pink color next. Ooh, okay, I like this pink color a lot on my cheek. So. Ooh, that is so pretty. These are super pigmented. I really like that. Y'all see that? It's so pretty. We're just gonna do the top row. We're gonna do the purple one on the tip of my nose and stuff. Dude, I'm actually gonna go to the store after this. So I'm gonna have like three different three different highlight colors on my face. Add some pink gray right here. And then the peach right here. Let's go even this out. I really like this. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking at myself in the mirror. Anyways, let's, let's get to the second item. So the second item in this is the Cover FX Shimmer Reveal. When I saw this on their Instagram, I was like, I better have this in my box because ooh, I've been wanting to Cover FX anything, highlighter, whatever. I've been wanting something from that brand. So I'm glad I got that. Anyways, it is $28 for retail. And it says these multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest of eye looks. And formulated with a white weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. Suitable for all skin types. So. I make weird faces, don't I, a lot? Oh, well. This is the cover effect. I'm going to take it out the box. So here it is. This is pink, really pretty pink color. And it is called Amethyst. Is it purple then? I mean, it has like lavender reflex in it. So this is the applicator. It's like a doe foot applicator, just like a lip gloss thing. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. Ooh, that is so pretty. Let's go apply this on my eyes. so pretty it's like I, I really don't care for light pinks that much like eyeshadows or anything on me but that is really pretty feels a little wet still but we're gonna see if it's gonna dry and it says it's crease proof and all that shit so we're gonna see we're gonna see if I'm gonna crease at the end of this video it kind of applies kind of sheer but that's okay I can work with it That's pretty. I really like that. A lot. Let's get to the third thing. <laughs> so the third thing is the Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Pencil. Its retail price is $21. It says Jessica's Richly Jessica's Richly Pigmented Smoky Eye Pencil delivers intense jet black definition cream, pencil point precision, or smudgy saturated color. The creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. So I'm gonna let y'all see that I have no top on this. No top. I didn't get a top when I got my box. So my pencil has no top. I have no extra tops for this. It's gonna get destroyed. It's kinda upset, but tip's kinda messed up, but you, sh I mean, you sharpen the pencil, but still. No fucking top. Not cool. Anyways, let's go see how dark this. Dude, this glides on so good. Look how dark that shit is. So we're gonna line my top lash line with this. I normally don't do pencil on my top lash line. I usually do liquid liner. But we're gonna go do pencil. It says no tugging or pulling, but it's tugging and pulling on my eyeball. 
just letting y'all know. I'm not kind of smudging the top out because I'm going to put lashes on. I'm not going to really wing it out. I'm just lining my top lash line and trying this pencil out. Yeah, because since I normally don't use pencil on my top. So the top is lined. I'm probably most likely just use this for my lower lash line. This would probably been a lot better if I didn't have any eyeshadow on top of it and that shimmer on top of it. And I'm probably got on a little bit better instead of like tugging on my skin a little. But still upset I didn't have a top with my pencil for some fucking reason. Boxy charm. Top. Remember. Top. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get to the fourth thing. So the fourth thing is the Crown Pro Trio brush set, and it's right here. It, this, these colors kind of remind me of the Wet n Wild brushes. Let's just throw that trash on the floor. <laughs> so these are all three brushes. So it says, it's retail price is $29. It says use the three, P, three PC, three piece pro brush trio to contour your face to perfection. The small brush can be used to conceal imperfections. This one. And the medium size, this one, can be used to sculpt cheekbones and perimeter face. And then the large one for powder and to set everything in place. These are really soft, actually. These are super soft. I feel like they're kind of a tad bit softer than the Wet n Wild ones, because... Oh, I'm getting these dirty. Put the black on my fucking hand. What the fuck? Let's go clean this real quick. Yeah, if you just cover the bottom of these, they look like Wet n Wild brushes, don't they? Cover the bottom, but cover the name. And I mean, the bottom's different. It's not like tapered in the bottom. It's just all same size on the bottom. But yeah, also the brushes. They're pretty cute with the little sign on it. But anyways, I did need, need a new contour brush and a powder brush. Even though I did order the Bretman Rock Morphe brush set, which I didn't need to do that, but might as well buy buy it, it was $59 for all the brushes, so I couldn't pass that up. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to use these right now and get these dirty, so we're going to get to the fifth thing. So the fifth thing is this sugar scrub, and it's called the Seraphine, Seraf how do you say that? Seraphine? Seraphine Botanicals Sugar Plus Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Its retail price is $24. It says a blend of soft sugar crystals with a rich nourish nourishing salve base that gently exfoliates and buffs lips, leaving behind smoother skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent. Made with avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils, as well as shea and cocoa butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate lips. Since I already have lipstick on, I'm not going to really use this now. I'm just going to do it on my palm of my hand. I, I really do like the packaging. This packaging is legit. It's so fucking cool looking. If I saw this in the store, this is definitely what I would buy. And it comes in here. You can kind of already smell it. It smells so good. I like anything with lemon smell to it. It's so yummy. So. You can still smell it. And it comes with... Make sure you have this shit on. That shit's not on. Throw that shit away because ooh, you don't want to use that. It's been used. I really like this. You know what this reminds me of? It's the vitamin C drink from Japan. Like that dark brown glass bottle. And it's called vitamin C. It smells exactly like that drink. Oh my god. Oh my god. It so does. Okay, I'm gonna stop smelling it. So, just, just a tad bit. I just put too much on my fucking palm. I don't wanna waste that. So, we're gonna, I put a little bit on my palm. I'm just gonna feel it. 
Is this edible? It is not edible. So you gotta wipe it with a cold rag. So I'm just gonna buff my skin right here. I'm gonna feel the difference. Because usually when you try things on the back of your hand, it's supposed to mimic the, your face, your skin of your face. Oh yeah. So let me just close this up and squirt some water on my hand and wipe it off. So it feels really super smooth and soft right here and it just feels normal smooth normal smooth normal dude I, I need to do that on my lips I need to do that on my lips yeah. anyways that was the last item I was kind of a little weird on this video huh oh well it doesn't matter right so I'm kind of like leading in the car because I can't get a good angle on my camera so this is the best I can do right now Anyways, I forgot to do my outro on my video, so I'm doing it right now in the heat in the car is so fucking hot and there's cars driving by right now probably looking at me weird because I'm talking to myself. Anyways, um, thanks for watching my February unboxing BoxyCharm. So that totally backwards, the bo February BoxyCharm unboxing, yeah. Thanks for watching and yeah, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Just because my hair is ratchet right now because I was wearing a wig earlier and my hair is so dirty as you can see. It's been like a week since I washed my hair. Yeah, so I'm actually washing it today. Today is like my shampoo day, so yeah. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.